Nobody should ever buy a boat without a sea trial. And what should you look for when sea trialing? Is it a dry and smooth ride? Does it go as fast as I want it to go? How much fuel does it use at cruising speed? Is it stable in a beam sea? Does it turn well? All these things contribute to your satisfaction with your new boat. Hi, welcome to Sport Fishing Magazine's Boat Tour Videos. I'm your host, Dean Travis Clark, and this is Scout Boat's new 190 Costa Stew Apt Tournament Edition Flats Boat. Let me show you some of the great features about this boat. Many flats boats don't have this. This is an independent anchor locker. The anchor and the road can fit down in here instead of having to lift your anchor out of the bilge somewhere. And of course, the hatch is all finished with gel coat on the inside. This boat also has nothing but pop-up cleats. Now, if you're fishing, you want to see down into the water, you can always see better if you have a little more height. So Scout are the only ones who do this. Here's a casting platform. Fishermen can stand up on here and see much better down into the water. Every place on board the Costa that you can step is covered with non-skid. And this nice tow rail around the gunnel, that'll keep your fly line from blowing over the side in the wind and also keeps your foot from sliding off. Here is another compartment. It's an optional release well or a really nice big dry storage locker. Everything is guttered, everything drains into the cockpit. A flats boat is more than just a low to the water boat that doesn't weigh very much. Right here is a very critical point on any flat skiff. If you get a lot of wave lapping noise against the chine, that scares the fish away. This chine has been designed to be quiet. You'll find carpeted storage space for six rods under each gunnel capable of accommodating a nine foot fly rod. In addition to the six under each gunnel, Scout also provides two vertical rod holders on each side of the console. On the forward side is an insulated drink cooler, and this whole console locks down, but it also tilts open so you have complete access to the wiring behind the gauges. Add to that a tilt steering wheel, and you have absolutely excellent ergonomics whether you're driving seated or standing. One thing that Scout does that I've never seen any other company do on a flats boat is they put in stainless steel drink holders that drain into the bilge and then over the side. You also get a 20 gallon live bait well on this side, standard. In the center you have a 35 gallon release well and then you have an optional bait well on the other side, mirror image, all aerated. And then the obligatory push pole platform. Every flats boat needs one. Looks very nice with the detubing and a nice curve but something that Scout does differently as well is that they put in rubber inserts into these steps to keep your feet from sliding off. And that's one of the more dangerous parts of fishing on a boat like this is climbing up and down onto the platform. You'll never snag a line on a cleat since Scout uses only the pop-up kind. You'll find a cutout where the engine mounts to provide better flow to the prop in shallow water. Though not the lightest flat skiff on the market, you can still tow this behind virtually any vehicle. Scout measures the 10 inch draft with the boat standing still the running draft decreases to about 7 inches. The 190 carries a max power rating of 225 horsepower, but we ran it plenty fast with a 200 and you could even get away with a 115. A little extra weight isn't necessarily a bad thing on a flats boat because it provides a smoother ride and a chop. The 190 spun up in 15 inches of water, planed in just 2 seconds, and topped out at 51 miles per hour at 5950 RPM using 22 gallons per hour. However, Back the throttle off to around 28 miles per hour and the economy soars to almost four miles per gallon, giving you a range of 160 miles. So that's Scout's new 190 Costa Stew Apt Tournament Edition. It takes a lot more than just lightweight to make a good flats boat. And this one is worth your time to go to your dealership and check out today. Go to www.scoutboats.com to find the dealer nearest you today. Then get down there and drive one.